So let's make some biography trading cards. These are a lot of fun. Um, and as you can see, um, this person that made it, I think her name is Claire. Yep. She, so a couple years ago, Claire loved JK Rowling and read a biography on her and wanted to um, make a trading card. on her. So there's five different areas in which we need to, um, to think about from our reading of a book that we've read of on our character. So um, the time period, you could say the 60s, 50s, 80s, 90s, current day, um, she chose to put um, her, um, like, when she was born and that she's still alive. Um, location, maybe where this person lived or United States or wherever most of it took place. Um, the role, maybe what kind of role your main character played. Um, events. So um, she finished uh, the Harry Potter book. So, you know, we talk about all the different things that this person accomplished. And then the response would be kind of like, what, what did this person eventually become or become known as or known for? Um, most characters come into some sort of problem. Um, maybe they want or desire to do something. Um, maybe they had to overcome some kind of major challenge. Um, and they had it set out for a goal, like for um, Gertie Etterly, like her goal was to swim the English Channel. And the outcome was that she became the first woman and the fastest at one point. Um, so if there isn't a quote in there um, from your book, you could go to Google and find a famous quote from that person um, to add in there. Don't just write none. Um, if you write yes or no or none or I don't know, then you have a card that just isn't worth anything. You want to have a lot of information that's good on your card to share with others. So um, the action that she did and then interactions that this person had with other people, are they nice or kind other people? Um, and uh, here she did not like to interact with other people. She was kind of like a kind of an introvert. And then um, per personal impression is what you think of this character. Do you like them? Would you like to be like them? And then why or why not? So um, this is just one way to create the, what, what a card, a finished card looks like. In order to do that, I've given you a link, um, and it's called, the, uh, it's called the Trading Card Creator, and you'll need to get started. It might ask you um, for, to get started with Trading Card. It might ask you to install Flash Player. Um, try clicking Flash Player and see if that works first. And then, um, obviously, you'll put your name because that's who's creating the card. And then after you uh, go on to create the card, it's a real person. I like Roberto Clemente. I read one on him. And then uh, he is a real person. Okay. We're not doing fictional people. We're not doing it on Bigfoot or anything like that. Um, so here's your time period. When did he come? You know, when did he live his time period? Where did he spend most of his life or where did he experience an important event? You could say Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where he played his career. Um, although he is from Puerto Rico. So you could put both. Um, what role did he play? What did he do? He was a baseball player. Okay. And then I click on to the next one to get my number two. So some events that happened in his life. I mean, he was a World Series winner. He made Major League Baseball. Um, he, I think I think he had, he was like the youngest player to have 3,000 hits, something like that. Um, and then how did Roberto Clemente react or change after these events? Um, you know, he became extremely popular. Um, his teammates loved him. Uh, the city of Pittsburgh embraced him. So things that, what happened after he did these events. Um, he became a Hall of Famer, too. Uh, problem, there was a problem. He, he grew up in poverty, and he needed to get out. So he grew up with really no money. Um, his family struggled to survive. And th what he had to do is he wanted to become somebody better than he was. He wanted to become a baseball player, and he did. He, he played for the Pirates. And then, obviously, number four, a famous quote. We'd have to find it or look in our book. Um what really got your attention? What did he do that really got your attention? Um, and then how did he get along with others? Um, he was a huge team player. He was very friendly to others. Um, he gave to a lot of different charities and gave back to his home country of Puerto Rico. And then obviously, how did you feel about him? Did you like him? Why or why not? Um, this is kind of like your thoughts on the card. Okay. And then when you go back to the side, you can insert an image. If you want to, it will probably ask you for to choose an image from your drive. So to do that, you'll probably need to 
um, insert a, a, a picture into your drive. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's go to my recent images. And there is an image that I, I uploaded from Google, from Google to there. So um, how do you do an image? Uh, so type in Roberto, whoops, Roberto Clemente, there he is. Um, I'm going to find an image that I like of him. So I, I two finger click on it and I um, save, wait, sorry, let me click on that image. And hopefully your image, the one that you want or find one that you want that will allow you to uh, save it to a Google Drive. So you want to save it to your drive. And that's how you save it to your drive. It says uploading. Then I close it. You can rename it if you'd like to. Um, but here is the trading card that I want. And then I can choose my image. And like I said, here are my images once they load up. And I'm just going to pick, I'm going to pick this one. I like it. And there it is. So I want to maybe zoom out a bit, move it around. There we go. Okay. And I click OK. And there's my image that I picked. And then when I'm done, I click Finish Editing. And what's important for this is when you finish your card, you want to click Print, even though you really can't. I have to do that. But you have to print it from your Chromebook. So... Or maybe it is share. No. Oh, sure you want to share it. Sure you do. And you want to save it. And then you can share it with me. So save it and you can call it, you know, Eric's card, if you want to call it that, or Roberto Clemente. And then you click save and it goes into your uh, drive, obviously, um, once you save it. Okay. I'm going to save it in my drive as Eric's card. And then you can go into your drive and share that with me. So I can always go back to Trading Card Creator and click on my drive. And then my card should be in my drive. There it is. There's my card. And then I can um, two-finger click on that, two-finger tap on it. And I can share that with whoever I like. And if you want me to print it or see it, um, you can share it with me. Um, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing or too many steps, but that's why I made a video for you on how to make a trading card using Trading Card Creator. All right, good luck. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or see me and um, I'll help you out.